So I made a video, I think around November. Why do people play grapplers? And people really like that. So I'm gonna continue with another fighting game archetype. Why I think, I should say I think, why people play zoners. So we have to, as usual, start with what is a zoner? We have to define it. The thing about, let's say, grapplers is that they're pretty easy to define. And what I mean is we have, for example, this little girl right here. Yes, she is a she is a grappler. As you might remember from last video, Kohaku is a grappler. Just kidding. I mean, she is though, but she's not obviously a grappler, right? Obviously, a grappler would be this guy, this guy right here, Taker, Iron Taker. You guys all know him, or maybe you don't know him. Uh, I, honestly, wait. BB Rollback came out. You probably are way more familiar with this character than before, right? And if for some reason you don't know who this is, then I do have one that you will definitely know who this is. It has to be this guy. Yeah, this guy. Pretty easy to define a traditional grappler. A traditional grappler. Big, strong, grabs you, kills you. We're all used to it, right? Chat and YouTube. What do you think of when you think of a zoner? Who who appears in your in your mind's eye? Guile. Interesting. Peacock. Frieza, bitch made fellas. Wow, coming at people. Insanity, couldn't be me. New 13, Venom, lots of different answers, right? In my opinion, I think the best answer and where we should start is indeed this guy. Our doll stuff is OD, bro. Do you know anyone who could do this? Also, do you know anyone who could like my YouTube channel and subscribe? To the channel please wink wink nudge nudge okay anyway <clears throat> why does you guys actually all listed a bunch of good zoners uh, and i would qualify basically at a glance at least all of them as zoners but i think dalsam is a really good place to start not just because he's the first one from street fighter 2 but it's because of how he goes about zoning right we start with street fighter and then we expand to teen games anime 3d like all this shit this is the truth about yoga so he zones you both with normals and projectiles so that means that this is his owner right here she's his owner but then also he's his owner right these two are both owners despite them going about it different ways axel generally does it with normals supported by rensen but he's generally controlling space with normals new is generally controlling space with projectiles and lord dalsam right here he does it with both this is why I think he's really, really important. And this is the one I would use to be like this. He sets up what a traditional zoner is. Since him, there's a bunch of there's so many offshoots beyond just using your big buttons and using projectiles. There's so many different ways you can do it, even even in Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, Persona, whatever. But I think this is where you begin. Let's go into reasons why people play zoners. So reason number one, why do people play zoners? We all know, actually, the first reason. We do know the first reason. Because they're fucking cowards. That's why. They're fucking cowards. They're cowards. They want to run away. That's the first reason. Duh. And that's what they say about this guy. You guys know who this is? Who's this? They call this guy a coward. This is Lord Floyd Mayweather, the boxer. In boxing, you punch and you play close range, but they call this dude a coward for real. His boxing style is actually very relatable to traditional zoning. The main thing that these guys enjoy in the fight, so like they want to fight, but they don't want to scrap and they don't really like to get hit. So I was being a little inflammatory. I will not say coward. It's not that they want to be cowards. It's that they don't want to get hit. They do want to fight you, but they don't want to get hit. That's actually the true, the underlying, right? The haters will say cowards, but the underlying things, these dudes don't want to get hit. They want to be far away. And let's say like a high school fight, they're the ones who, who grab the textbooks and throw them at you, right? Rather than just scrapping, they want to, they want to stay away. They want to fight, but they want to stay away. Reason number two, we of course return to design. So like, you know, one thing about this version of Guilty Gear is they revamped all of the all of the characters right so this version of axel cool so like a lot of the characters have like cool designs in this game and as i mentioned in the grappler video people can relate to these characters and the character you play does reflect you somewhat so for example let's go back to new front and center new new 13 right me personally me I am not a mech guy. I mean, my fucking name is Lord Knight. I entered tournaments. I decided at age 15, I will write down Lord Knight when they asked for my online name. Lord Knight. When I asked me, say, hey, sign up for SRK, sign up for Smash Boards. What's your name? Lord Knight. Clearly, I'm not into mech stuff. But some people like mech aesthetics, right? Some people like sci-fi games. Some people like mech. Some people are into this, right? Some people think this is cool. Uh, some people think this is cool. I mean, this is ridiculous, but 
some some people do think this guy is cool and to be fair since this time they've redesigned him a couple times and you know they made him kind of more modern over time so again as long as you like aren't straight picking for character power only i mean and even then you can argue even that reflects your heart a little bit so that's always i'm going i'm probably going to say that in every single discussion about why people pe pick each type of character it is a reflection of themselves a little bit so let's go to the next reason we must also return to this remember that that's not chris pratt over here on the left that's that's timmy the power gamer johnny the combo player and then me once again or us depending on how you feel spike the tournament grinder once again we return to magic's r d department the core types of people who play their game this is reflecting of something of your play style so we can't just have all three timmy we're probably we've uh, probably been done with this if you don't know what this is uh, i'll review it very quickly magic the gathering has a research and development department and over time they categorize players basically into three types and they're hybrids of the type so when we talked about grapplers clearly it's just timmy right but when we talk about people like zoning you're probably thinking of this like there's no way there's no way someone who's into big strong powerful muscle mode will play as owner i mean axel's right here right we can look at axel again this is exit axel look at this guy no no way we're thinking big powerful scary right we're th talking about people who are running away so I'm, so I'm sorry lord floyd i had to do it to you for this video for this we're looking at a combination in my opinion uh johnny the combo player and spike the torment grinder it might be weird if you have never played magic to think combo player equals zoning but uh you have to look at the way that they define it the way that they define it is a combination of wanting to do something innovative that people don't like to do and they do like winning i think it's a combination of both like personally correct me if i'm wrong there's not a lot of people who play zoning characters for fun as fighting games goes on and also depending on what fighting game you play so we, we play guilty gear right guilty gear and arxis games in general quite literally punish you for running away they're like don't play like a bitch run in there right straight up also you might notice there are never a lot of zoning characters i'm not talking about nrs by the way because a lot of nrs games zoning is a big part of the game and some people really hate it there's also it's not often that there's a lot of defensive zoning characters as well it's kind of uncommon we just talked about ragnar a little bit earlier on the stream and and just generally in fighting games rush down simple rush down is really popular at the beginning of a version also it's pretty easy to do it's pretty straightforward yeah you just run at them you press the buttons unga unga square button society lol it's not a lot of people it's a rare type of person who's like uh maybe i'll hang back here and that's why i think it's a combination of johnny the combo player who likes using something unique something unique a little bit different and spike the torment grinder because uh it's uncom it's just uncommon to play this type of thing for fun in my opinion and I want to go to the last reason why people enjoy playing this type of character. I have been feeling this because I have recently put on my Durag. I put on my Durag last week to play some Axel. I've been playing Axel since last uh, Tuesday. And one thing about me playing a lot of different characters in Strive is I really, I, I think I understand even more how people feel because I've been playing so many characters in this game that I would not normally play. Axel is not a character I would normally gravitate towards, but I'm on a mission. Potemkin's gotta go down, right? That calm feeling that you have when you just control so much space and you know your opponent can't get near you. Uh, and this is something you hear commonly that grappler players do. They use their life as a resource. As a million player, I have no HP, so I do not think like that. My life is not a resource. I'm going to die if I get hit by stuff. So a lot of like the things that people say like, oh, it's so hard to play Milia because you have to play perfect if you mess up. Like for me, I'm like, well, that's what I fucking signed up for. I just understand that. But my decision making is also affected by that. I'm not gambling my HP on situations where as a grappler, when you play against this type of character, you have to because you can't move, but also you have the life to do so. Like you, you have the life to try to do it. That's just like calm, relaxed feeling of like, you know that they can't really get to you. You know that you could reposition yourself at your own convenience. You know, you just have a, a, a sense of control over the flow of the match is a pretty nice feeling. It's a pretty, honestly, it's a very nice, comforting feeling. I don't think all zoner players have this, but I do think there's a small subset. Zoning generally, in at least uh, my neck of the woods, Arxis games, uh, have problems against fast characters because they could navigate around the zoning easily and like force their offense on you but in the case in the case that you can navigate around a fast character and maybe you know let's go even a step further this is verse chip this is axel's worst matchup 
correct me if I'm wrong, Axel players, right? This is a hard match for Axel. Axel has uh, moves that control a lot of space, but they have high commitment. As in, if you whiff them, you're dead. So the, f the feeling of even the fast character, the maneuverable character, I can keep them out and stop them from approaching me is also quite a good feeling. When you know that Chip can pull up from full screen really fast, when you know he could dash jump and move in a low commit way, and you still manage to turn the tides, running under him, right? I cornered myself, slipped right under, dealing with all the offense and managing to get your way out anyway. That is also a good feeling. Of course it's good to, to punish Potemkin for picking Potemkin, right? That's a great feeling too. But also, again, th that little element of the challenge of, oh, this is the hard part of the character, and I am still so skilled and that's how I feel about zoners, you know, years of research, years of research went into this. Do you guys have any questions? Any thoughts? How, how, how y'all feeling?